Hi guys, so I'm um, just trying a game called um, Last Ember. Um, and it's on sale right now for £5.19 in the UK. Um, you also get the VR edition, which is interesting because the main game is uh, very positive. It's got um, quite a few thousand reviews, but the VR port of it only has is mixed with 53 reviews. Uh, it does seem to be free when you buy the, the normal edition. Um, but looking at the reviews here, um, I mean, a lot of people complaining about the UI, um, implementation, stuff like, oh, I wish I could move the camera, um, the performance of the VR version, but, um, actually playing, what I found is playing the, um, the normal flat version and then using UEVR, um, seemed to fix quite a few of these complaints here. Um, that I see in the reviews. There is some some issues still, so like the 2D cutscenes I had to use the 2D mode for. Also, there was like some very minor shaders like the smoke texture near the end of this clip, uh, which is only in one eye, but they're, they're pretty pretty minor. But the great thing about UVR compared to some of these these ports, which I mean, they're, they're, some people here claiming these are quite a rushed, rushed, um, rushed port, is that um, you can change quite a lot of the, the things, so like you move the UI further back, closer to you, um, you can change the, um, I mean the, the access to the C files, I noticed there wasn't a temporal upscaling slider in the um, in the settings, I don't think, so I actually turned that on, um, seemed to improve my performance quite a bit. And the game, you'll notice in this first part of the, the gameplay is quite washed out. Um, I, I feel like the, the contrast is kind of low. Um, so I changed the gamma and lowered the black level a bit and it seemed to make it pop a lot more. Um, and like the darks are dark and the, the brights are bright. It just feels more immersive, I think, in, in VR. Um, so yeah, I would recommend kind of playing around with some of those sliders. Um, when you've got UEVR to, to play with. Um, but yeah, I would probably recommend checking this out. It's pretty cheap oh. at the moment. And I think that, um, yeah, the, the UEVR mod seems to solve quite a few of the issues the native port um, has, even though it kind of brings its own own issues along with it as well. So, uh, but yeah, uh, check this one out on sale. Oh, thank you. It's in a cave just a bit downhill from here. Go ahead, I'll follow you. I've been stuck here for ages. You're the first one that's willing to help. Would you believe that? I'm supposed to be in the City of Light. Have you heard of that? It's where all the true Yamrin spirits are supposed to go after... ...after their death. But I've been trapped here by this barrier for so long. I don't know why. I think there's something left for me to do here. And I'm pretty sure that amulet has something to do with that. Here, that's it.
D do you see the amulet? I just remember bits and pieces. But I'm sure together we can figure out the way. What's happening? Wolf? <laughs> How did you do that? You're a soul wanderer. What you just did? That's soul wandering. Yanran legend spoke of those who had one foot in the light and one foot here on Earth. Maybe you weren't meant to be turned back from the City of Light. We'll have to find out more about you. Come on then. coming closer to the barrier that's keeping me here. I haven't been able to leave this place for ages. Maybe... Do you see that? Is that a fire? Let, let's check it out. 